Hey there, this is Andrew bringing you another Keyforge deck reveal and review. This is going to be a mass mutation deck. We have Vicky O. Maximoon Sr. Alright, I'm thinking Untamed Star Alliance Dece. I got one right. It's Untamed, Shadows, Logos. So, again, uh, here with Untamed, I'm really hoping for a lot of just Amber generation. Good support, hopefully, in Logos. A lot of uh, deck speed increase. And then uh, in Shadows, some Amber control. Maybe some board control in the form of damage. So we should be starting with the Logos here. Ooh, Daughter is a great to see right at the beginning. The only bummer is it means we're not getting Auto Encoder, but that's okay, Daughter is really good. She's a two power cyborg scientist with Elusive, and during your car draw card step, you refill your hand to one additional card. Very nice. Uh, Diametric Charge is an action with a bonus Amber that deals one to a creature with two splash. Lethalogica, also gonna speed up the deck. Action with a bonus amber. When you play it, you discard cards from the top of your deck until you discard a Logos card or run out of cards. And if you do discard a Logos card this way, you put it into your hand. So it gets you through to a Logos card quickly. Munchling is a three power mutant with skirmish and fight. You may discard a Logos card from your hand or archives if you do gain an amber. Cumex is a one power robot with play, draw a card and destroyed archive Cumex. Prefer to see that with some sort of enhancement on it, but it's okay. Uh, let's see. Dimension Door, I don't love. We'll see. It's an action. When you play it for the remainder of the turn, any amber you would gain from reaping is stolen from your opponent instead. So you need to have creatures on the board. Now, um, the opponent might leave some stuff around because that's elusive. Cumex is kind of, you don't want to destroy it, so maybe we do get value out of that. We'll see. Fission Bloom is one I always get wrong. So it's an artifact. It, it adds a draw enhancement somewhere, and action the next time you play a card this turn, resolve each of its bonus icons an additional time. I always get this mixed up with um, uh, Forge Compiler, I think. Uh, but anyway, Fission Bloom does you know, bonus amber doubling, bonus pip doubling. Kurzap is an action. When you play it, you destroy each non-mutant creature and gain one chain. So far, that's two thirds of our creatures. So that's a little rough. Howling Pit is an artifact with a bonus amber. It says during your draw, uh, during their draw card step, each player refills their hand to one additional card. So you and your opponent. Got three more cards left, I think here. Um, I would like to see more creatures if the Dimension Door is going to be any good. Um, it's okay if it's not. We're looking at rares or the, the mutant creatures now, the, the mix-ups. All right, so we have Odd Claude. Oh, right, that comes later. Odd Claude is a five-power mutant scientist with action. If your opponent has an odd amount of amber, steal one. Um, mm -hmm. Ooh, two of those, interesting. And then, oh, and then an Umber Bot. This is a three power mutant scientist. The Umber part gives it elusive, and the Bot part gives it reap. Discard a card from your hand if you do draw a card. This is good deck speed, and uh, I mean, it, it helps you filter through cards. You know, you're getting rid of bad cards, hopefully, drawing good cards. And, uh, and it's elusive, so it's more likely to stay on the board. So that's pretty cool. All right, that's an okay Logos. It's not. It's not my favorite, but we do have potentially eight card hand size. The Howling Pit's helping the opponent too, but that's okay. Hopefully we can use it better. Let's see here. Bow Nithing is a two power elf thief with play, steal one for each forged key your opponent has. Dark Wave is a two power action with play, deal two damage to each non-mutant creature. Nice, uh, yeah, that could be pretty good. We just don't wanna kill the daughter, but anything else worth pretty okay hitting, I think. 
Look over there is an action that deals two damage to a creature. If it's not destroyed, steal an amber. You can sometimes follow that up with dark wave to actually you know get the steal, but then still finish the creature off. That can be pretty nice. Mug is an action with a bonus amber. When you play it, you move an amber from a creature to your pool, and then you deal two damage to the creature. Really good way to deal with Odawak. And um, no capture in here, so uh, doesn't seem like we're likely to want to use it on one of our own creatures, but it, that makes it good board control. Opportunist is an upgrade with a bonus amber. It gives a creature elusive and it captures one from its opponent. In fact, there we could do turn the mug into a steel in the right conditions. It might not be the best thing to do, but we could do it. Another opportunist, nice. Then we have a rad penny, a one power mutant thief with play steal one and destroyed shuffle her back into your deck. Always glad to see her. Subtle Auto is a one power mutant thief with play. Your opponent discards a random card from their hand. Two of those, okay. Borrow, great artifact control, is an action with a bonus amber that lets you take control of an enemy artifact, and while it's under your control, it belongs to House Shadows instead of its original house. Very nice. Old Bruno is a three power elf thief with elusive and play capture three. Okay, and see, that could be useful for the mug too. Very nice. And finishing blow is an action with a bonus amber. It says play destroy a damaged creature if you do steal one. That's a really fun combo with the look over there because you do two damage, steal one, and then finish it off and steal another one. Very nice. Um, this is a solid shadows. I like it. The only thing is I wish for more rad pennies instead of subtle autos, but you know, what are you going to do? Um, subtle auto can be fine. All right, uh, Untamed, let's see here. We have Ghost Hawk, a two power beast with deploy and play you may reap with each neighboring creature one at a time. Um, we'll probably have just a lot of little things sitting on the board, so that seems okay. And then uh, you know, if we get an Umber Bot reap with that, that's great. If we get a, that's really the only thing we would care about, yeah. No great reap targets there except for the Umber Bot. Another Ghost Hawk, nice. I always like to see that. A key frog. This is a two power beast with destroyed forge a key at current cost. Nice to see that key cheat, but we need amber generation in untamed for it to be good. Niffle ape is a three power beast and niffle. While it's attacking, you ignore taunt and elusive. Got two of those. Hmm. Three of those. Wow. Lots of niffle apes. Then a Pizmire, this is a four power mutant with a draw icon on it. That that's an enhancement, obviously. And it says, while there are more friendly mutant creatures than enemy mutant creatures, your opponent's keys cost plus two. Little key cost control is great. I'm just going to say, though, we have a lot of amber generation in the shadows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, none so far in the untamed, unless we have creatures on the board and can ghost talk them. Then we have something right, but it's just a little iffy. Uh, ooh, Reclaimed by Nature, more good artifact control. It's an action with the bonus amber. When you play it, you purge an artifact and you resolve its bonus icons as if you had played it. I like that. Lumaloo is a four power beast and cat with reap, gain, and amber for each other friendly beast creature. And then we have Troop Call. This is an action with a bonus amber that returns each friendly Niffle creature from your discard pile and from play to your hand. Punctuated Equilibrium, that's fun. Each player discards their hand, then refills their hand as if it were their draw card step. Very nice. Um, can really mess opponents up this way, although very bad if they have Auto Encoder. And finally, Techno Beast, a four power mutant beast with Skirmish. And reap, discard a card from your hand if you do draw a card. That's a cool reap effect. I wish, you know, I wish we had, like, I like Xeno Beast a lot better because it synergizes, right? Skirmish and a reap effect is kind of sad. Um, I guess there's always something good you can do with it. So we did get a couple bonus icons here. Um, the Niffle Apes are going to keep coming back to the board. That's cool. That can help the Lumalu. I mean, Lumalu has a high potential to just be crazy and generate you a lot of amber here. 
um, and then you can kill the key frog, I guess. Uh, so there's that possibility. You can't kill the key frog without fighting it, though, right? I mean, you, you need to use it to fight. You can't just put it on the board and do damage to it, except in a Logos turn with the diametric charge, but you can't do it on the same stuff in Shadows too. But my point is you can't do it on an untamed turn. You can't drop it and kill it right away. Um, interesting creature set, though. The Lumalu becomes very good. The Nifflapes are coming back. That's cool. Um, and then the Shadows is really where we're doing most of our board control, I feel like. Uh, we have a lot of... I feel like we have, we have a lot of beasts. Do we have a lot of mutants? The Pismire wants mutants. We have one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's not. Yeah, nine mutants. That's an okay number for um, that helps with the uh, the sh the dark wave as well as the um, as well as the Pismire that we have so many. It's not a huge number, but it's okay. And um, yeah, that's it. So there you go. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I certainly enjoyed making it for you. That was Vicky O. Maximum Sr. And I hope you'll get out there and forge some keys.